Hey everybody. Uh, all right. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is setting up an extended access list. And what you're going to be doing with the extended access list is say uh, blocking telnet requests. So to get this started, um, I'll just give you a quick overview of what we're looking at here for the topology. So what we're going to do is um, block telnet on uh, this interface right here. I'm just going to first just make sure that we have a blank topology we're working with all right great so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over onto router 3 and we're gonna turn uh, telnet on so I've just set a password for Cisco and I've logged in and what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go and tell net from say, um, I don't know, why don't we use, why don't we use this subnet right over here? So I'm over on, I'm over on PC one and we're just going to go and tell net into, uh, this interface right over here, FA01, which is 30.1. All right, now, as you can see, we can log on, no problem. Um, here we are, we're now on. Well, I didn't set a password, but as you can see, we've made a successful Telnet connection. So let's say we wanna block any Telnet connections. Well, what we're gonna have to do with our extended access list is place it as close to the destination as possible. So since we wanna block Telnet on this router right over here, we're going to have to stop any incoming requests for a telnet session. So to do that, let's just grab our terminal and to start things off, um, we're going to go IP access list. And because it's extended, we're going to type in extended. We're going to give the name of it. I'm just going to call it no telnet. All right. So when you're in this mode, you have two options. You can permit or you can deny requests. But since we want to deny Telnet, we're going to be using deny. So after we type in deny, as you can see, we have a couple options here uh, for protocols. Because we're going to be using Telnet and Telnet runs on TCP protocol, we're going to have to make sure that we select TCP for our um, protocol that we're going to be using. Now what we're going to need to do is specify a source address. If it's um, a network address, you can type it in right now, the network address, followed by its wildcard. If you want to use any host, you can just use any. But if you want to use a specific host, like what we want to do, we want to block it from this guy over here. We'll type in host, and then you follow that by the host address, which is 192.168.11.10. So after we've typed in our host address, we have to specify our destination address. And as you can see, um, our destination address for what we're trying to get into over here was uh, 192.168.30.1. So what we're going to need to do is specify that it's also a single host that we're trying to connect to. So we're typing in host 192.168.30.1. All right, so after we've done that, um, here's where we assign the service or port number that we would like to specifically deny. So to do that, we need to use this equals um, parameter right there. So I'm just going to type in EQ. And if you hit the question mark again, you'll see you have uh, a few different choices of different um, services with their respective port number. So we're going to do Telnet. So I'm just going to type in Telnet like that, and I'm going to hit enter. Now, if you remember from our previous video, access control lists, they always have an implicit deny all at the end of it. So after it saw this line right here, it's going to continue on to the access control list and it's going to see the uh, deny all. So to get around that, we just go permit IP any any. All right. So we've created an access control list. It's called what do we name it again? I think we called it no telnet, but let's make sure. Yeah, no telnet. So now what we have to do is go onto the interface where we're going to have the incoming request from. So that's S001 because we're going to be coming from over here, right? So uh, let's go over to serial one. And now that we're over here, 
we're going to be using the IP access group command. Um, we're going to be giving the name of our ACL. And then we're going to also say which direction things are going to be coming in from. So we're, this is going to be an inbound request. So we'll just type in in. So now that that's taken care of, we've applied our access control list. Uh, we'll get off the interface. Let's go back over to our PC one and try to make a request. All right, so we made a request. Let's see where we went wrong here. Uh, so we've denied the host 11.10. Okay, let's make sure that that's what our IP address is. Uh, okay, so I'm on 10.1. So let's make sure I'm on 11.10. So as you can see, I'm on 11.10 right now. And let's try to connect to our telnet again at 30.1. And as you can see, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying, but uh, it's not going to be happening and the reason why is because we used our extended access control list so if you wanted to permit anything you would just be using the permit requirement but the concept is the same it's really straightforward I thought it was complicated at first but it's really not you are just gonna start it off whether you want to permit or deny after you do that you select your protocol then you select your source your destination and then the service or port number that you're specifically trying to filter out. So that's it for this video. I'll keep it real quick. Uh, I'll put another video up later on today for an example on how you can permit something. But this is the basic concept of the uh, um, access control lists. Um, if you like, what you can do is hop on over to jmichael.ca. And over on jmichael.ca, you're going to find the post for this specific tutorial. I'll also include the work pack as always, uh, but feel free to check it out for any uh, further explanations with regards to the extended access control list. All right. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time.